What's up you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Persist Intuition. Welcome my current subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you could ring a little bell and find my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Ooh, ow. Um, I have about an hour until I go pick my daughter up from softball practice and get ready from work and all that. So, um, and my son's in there doing homework. So I decided to do a um, Who's Coming Towards You reading. I pick a card, so um, I have already pre-shuffled to save a little bit of time. I have not looked at them, at any of them, but I just pre-shuffled them, um, and we're going to do damn thing. I'm going to put the other one to the side. We've got one, two, three. Uh, don't, ooh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. I only take the messages that resonate with you. Not that boy. There we go. Okay. This is group one. If y'all want to time stamp, time stamp them, you can. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, this is group one. Um, so it's one about 120 now if anybody wants to time, time stamp. Okay. Like I said, I have not looked at any of these cards, so I have no clue. Temperance upright. Three of Pentacles reversed. Not a Swords upright. Child. Change. <clears throat> Healing heart. Sunglasses. Okay, now this is group one. We have temperance upright, three of pentacles reversed, not a swords upright. So, um, someone's very balanced um, with person, well, they're very balanced inside themselves. Um, but there's no teamwork and collaboration with person, place, or situation. And then, um, whoever you're drawing in, if you pick group one, you're drawing in a knight of swords upright. Um, they could be a Gemini, Gemini Libra Aquarius or another sign taking on the Gemini Libra Aquarius upright energy of honesty, truth, and clarity. Um, just saying. They are a night energy, though, so um, it's the second to the lowest in the vibrations of the people. So we have page, knight, king, and queen, emperor, empress, high priestess, so they're second to the lowest. Um, this could very well be a young adult um, or a mentally immature person, like a 40-year-old acts like a 20-year-old, I'm just saying. Um, but they're night energy too, so they're flighty player in and out energy in your life as well. Um, just saying, just saying. But they're coming in with honesty, truth, and clarity. This person did not exhibit teamwork in the past, but they want to work with you now. Okay, this is what I heard. This person did not exhibit teamwork teamwork in the past, but they want to work with you now. So you take it how it resonates in your own life. So they want to create balance by working with you now. But I heard they did not want to work with you. Uh, they did not either properly work well with you in the past or they refused to work well with you in the past. How that resonates, but I heard they want to work. Well, they want to work well with you now. And like I said, this could be another sign taking on this energy or actual Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. You take it how it resonates, but they want to create balance in their life. I'm assuming their life has probably went off kilter because maybe they realize you're very, very valuable. Is exactly what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. But you take it how it resonates. child oh I was going to say too you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius so this person that you're drawing in possibly could be a Sagittarius because we have temperance energy which is Sagittarius energy or you take it out resonates they could have Sag in their sun moon rising Venus North and Benhaven or Jupiter just saying child this person is going to bring news of 
big changes in a child situation. Okay, I heard this person is going to bring big news of a changes in a child situation. So you take it out resonates in your own life. We have the child card. Heard from spirit. This person is going to bring big newses. Big newses. That's not even a word. Big news of change in a child situation. So child situation. So that could be um, physical, like the change of like the child moving physically from one home to another home. That's a huge child uh, change. Or change. Um, in the child in some type of way um, positive or negative you take it out resonates like I said it could be change in custody change in residence of the child or change like physical mood I mean change mood in the child or um, something that that interest kind of big change in the child a, a child you take it out resonates and it could go positive or negative we have the change card Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. This person is really healing right now over bad, bad, very bad choices they made in the past. And others made. Okay. I heard this person is really healing from um, very bad choices they made in the past. Um, and choices, bad choices others made. So we have the healing heart card. Healing from, they're healing from heartbreak, I heard. Um, healing from toxicity. Um, that The choices they made that were, sounds like were bad and toxic. And choices others made that were bad and toxic. Healing from heartbreak, free, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So they're breaking free from the toxicity. And there's going to be a change in a child in some type of way, whether it's a physical change or residence or some kind of change in the child um, emotionally or physically or um, mentally. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. For some, this person has been social media stalking you to really figure out how to get in good with you. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, this person has been social media stalking you to figure out how to get in good with you. So they're um, social media stalking you, I don't think in a crazy creeper, like super creeper way. Um, at least I hope not. You take it out resonates. But um, figuring out, probably figuring out, trying to get some information on try to probably how to come in in a um proper way because they now they want to work with you um i, I think it's because they see your worth they totally see your worth they see your um maybe in the past they thought you were worthless or they didn't give you the credit that you deserved is exactly what i'm thinking but they see it now they see you're very very worth it and um they realize they made a huge ass mistake it's exactly what it's seeming like here um, but the, I think the social media stalking is in them trying to figure out how to come in good with you. This is exactly um, what I'm thinking. So you take it out, it resonates in your own life. All right, this is group one. Group two. Six of swords upright. High Priestess Reverse, Three of Swords Upright. Courtship, Message, Seduction, Here. Yeah, oh my God, I can already see it in the cards. So we ain't even got any messages, holy crap. Okay, now group two, if y'all want to timestamp, 950. All right, 
right, we have six of swords upright, high priestess reversed, and um, three of swords upright. Big secrets are coming out on an affair. Is what I just heard. Big secrets are coming out on an affair. And honestly, to be honest, it's all over the freaking place in the cards. It's all over the place. Before I even heard that message, it's all over the place. Because um, you have six of swords upright, which is moving on. If you pick group two, someone's moving on. Um, and high priestess reverse can be a person. But in this case, it's secrets coming out about the affair. Or it can be secrets coming out if it's reversed. A person in reversal state or secrets coming out. In this case, it's secrets coming out about an affair. So moving on from secrets coming out about an affair because of a heartbreak. A heartbreak. Because three of swords upright is indicative of heartbreak or third party situation. But in this case, it's both. It's heartbreak over a third party situation. Just saying, just saying. And then um, you have courtship, so that's indicative of the affair or the third-party situation. Just saying, just saying, secrets coming out of third-party situation. You take out resonates. And message. So I'm thinking this is the um, somebody is in a third-party situation, like badly, 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 badly. Um and you're going to move on from it. You're going to move on from it. But the secrets are about to come. They're, I think they're about to come out about um, your partner in a third party situation. Is exactly what I'm thinking. I think they're about to come out. And you're going to move on once the secrets come out. But they have to come out first. So I'm thinking this is that um, message card. Now, I think this is somebody delivering you news of this affair. Is exactly what I'm thinking. For real, for real. It's all over the place in here. Um, um, now, this could be 3D, face-to-face, -face, somebody physically telling you in person. Or it could be a text message, a Facebook messenger, um, a phone call, a snail mail letter, some kind of form of communication regarding these secrets coming out about your partner cheating on you is exactly what it is. Um, now, it doesn't have to be a spouse. It could be a committed partner. Um, a live-in um, common law marriage or a um, actual physical marriage. You take it out resonates, but some kind of committed relationship. But I think somebody outside this third party situation, I don't think the third party is going to tell you, duh, duh, duh. Um, and I don't think the partner's going to tell you. I think somebody outside of those two are going to tell you. Just saying, just saying. Seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. Third-party interference. It's all over the place in here. All over the freaking place. And you're about to move on from that bad boy, and I don't blame you. For some, your partner tried to convince you in the past it was a one-time deal, but now you're definitely waking up. Okay, whoa. I heard for some of you guys, so for some, obviously this is for several people, but for some of you guys, your partner tried to convince you in the past, I heard from Spirit, that it was a one-time deal. But now you're having a serious, huge wake-up call and realizing it's not a one-time deal, um, and you're going to move on. You're going to finally move on because you're realizing your partner's lying to you because they're still, they're still, this current energy, they're still in the third-party situation. Third-party situation, heartbreak. Courtship, I think it's the third party. And a message because somebody's about to tell you about this. Just saying. Now, according to the spirit message, I heard um, for some of you guys, your partner tried to convince you in the past that um, um, it was just a one-time deal. So for some of you guys, you already knew about this third party. Just saying. For some, I think you're just finding out. And for some, you already knew. Um, I'm just being straight up for a real. But we have the um, seduction card, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. So obviously somebody either seduced your partner or your partner seduced the third-party energy and created a third-party situation. 
But somebody's partner is lying to them and telling them that it was just a one-time deal. But obviously, it's not. I mean, I'm getting that spirit message for a freaking reason. And it is all over the place in here. Even before I got the spirit message. Just saying. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection. You have been very wounded by this, but it's time to stand up for yourself. Okay. I heard you have been very wounded by this, but it's time to stand up for yourself. So for who of this resonates with? Um, I heard for who this is resonating, and I get it. I can see why you'd be very wounded. I mean, that's, I've been there. I have personally been there, you guys. That's why I've been single for 10 years. I'm just saying. Um, because I've been there and it hurts. It hurts so bad, but you can't, it's okay to dwell in it for a minute, but you have to pick yourself up by your bootstraps and you have to do what's best for you. Um, and that's just the truth for real, for real. Um, cause you're never going to be happy if you stay in this toxicity. Somebody is staying in toxicity and somebody has known about it. They've known about it and they are choosing to stay, um, because they're believing their partner's lies. Um, and somebody's about to just find out. So we have two different groups in here. Some of you guys already knew, and some of you guys are about to find out. But I heard from Spirit, um, basically, um, picking yourself up and moving on is the best course of action in here. Because apparently your partner doesn't care. Um, they're lying, they lied to you. They're bringing another part. Of, I mean, now, polyamorous relationships are different. This is not a polyamorous. Third party energy is not polyamorous. I just want to make that clear. Um, I'm serious because I've done readings for polyamorous people before and I've never picked up third party energy. Third party energy is different. That's secret and lies when your partner's holding it from you, when you think it's just you and your partner, when it, you think it's a monogamous relationship. Polyamorous, everybody agrees before the relationship begins. Every single party, where it's th whether it's three parties, four parties, five parties, everybody agrees previous. And it's a different energy situation. It's a different um, situation because everybody was in complete compliance and agreements before. This is not. This is secrets. This is lies. This is deception. And it's very different. So I'm, I just want to make that clear. But I heard from Spirit, for whoever this is resonating with, it'd be better just to pick it up and move it on for yourself. Um, because this is secret lies and deceptions. It's third party. This is not polyamorous relationship. I just want to make that clear. A polyamorous relationship is an open relationship, basically, where every single party agrees previous to the conception of the relationship, of who is in the relationship, whether it's three people, ten people, six people, four people. But every single party agrees previous to the birth of the relationship previous that's an open slash polyamorous relationship but this is not this third parties are not they're created on lies and drama and doing it behind your partner's back and oh i'm not gonna get caught and blah 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 blah. but somebody's about to get caught somebody is about to get caught 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 and it's somebody outside the third party situation and they're about to tell you and good 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 for you and good for them because they should they should so, just saying. Okay, that's group two. Alright, group three. Sorry, buddy. The lovers reversed. Six of wands reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Bad health. False person. Lightning. Separation. All right, now you guys, group three, if you want to um, um, tag it, 1940. I'd say 1940 now, 1940. Okay, we have the lovers reverse, which is um, 
serious problems in a relationship. Serious, serious, serious. This is group three. So serious, serious, serious problems in a relationship. It's a, um, usually it's a committed relationship. It could be fiance, it could be committed, it could be common law, or it can be marriage. But serious, serious problems in a relationship. Six of Wands reverse, which is no desire, no drive, no motivation, and no action towards this relationship. And then Knight of Cups reversed. Now, whoever picked group three, if this resonates with you, um, I think your partner, well, your partner has is unloving, ungiving, unkind towards you. Now, this person could actually be a water sign or another sign taking on the water sign reversed energy. Just letting you know, for real, for real. So, um, and if they're coming in as a night energy, so it could be masculine or feminine, could be your partner. You take it how it resonates in your own life. Um, but your partner is a night energy, so they are low. They are low on the vibration scale. Um, second to low is just like the group one. We have page, knight, king and queen, emperor, empress, high priestess. So they're second to the lowest in the vibrations and energy. So they're low vibrational and low energy. Um, so just saying. Um, and they're, they're a night energy. So I'm thinking it's either a young adult or like a 40 like, or a mentally immature person. So like a 40 year old that acts like a 20 year old. You take it out, it resonates. Um, but they are coming off as a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio reversed night energy to you. So ungiving, unloving, unkind. Like I said, it could be masculine or feminine. Um, and they're a flighty player in and out energy in your life. Um, they're ungiving, unloving, unkind, flighty player in and out energy in your life. And they have no desire and drive and motivation towards the relationship, which is causing huge relationship problems because you have the lovers reversed. Yikes. This is horrible. This is why I like being single because of all the, oh, God, this is horrible. I'm sorry for whoever is going through this. Bad health upright. For some, it is actually a water sign, and for some, it is not. It's what I just heard. For some, it is actually a water sign, and for some, it is not. So, you take it out, it resonates. Because, you know, this is water sign reversed energy, but it doesn't have to be, like I say in all my videos. But I heard from Spirit Message, some of you guys, your partner, if you pick group three and this resonates with you, uh, for some, it is, an, your partner is actually a water sign. Um... For some of you guys, and for some they're not. So water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midheaven, or Jupiter. You take it out, resonates. But we have the bad health card. This water sign is in bad health, and intuitively you know this. Okay. I heard this water sign is in bad health, and intuitively, you know this. So, for whoever this is resonating with, if you pick group three and this resonates with you, you're highly intuitive. So, inside, you know, your little voice inside has already told you that your partner, which for some it's a water sign and some it's not, um, is in bad health. Um, I don't think the partner's told you. I think you have figured it out yourself that your partner's in bad health. So, whatever bad health that is, um, that could really resonate in many different ways. Whatever medical condition that they have that's putting them in bad health. And I'm I, just saying. Um, it can be medical or mental health. You take it how it resonates. But some type of bad, bad health, either medical or mental health or both, you take it how it resonates. False person. This person is extremely fake. And some are seriously figuring it out now. Okay. I heard this person, this person is extremely fake. This person, your partner, that is not having any desire, drive, and motivation towards you. And it's causing relationship problems. I heard it's extremely fake. And um, some of you guys have already figured this out. So some of you guys are highly intuitive. And you've already figured this out. 
It sounds like they're playing games with you is exactly what it sounds like, to be honest, given the messages in the cards. Um, they have no desire, no drive, no motivation towards you. It's causing relationship problems, which, of course, it would if they have no desire, drive, and motivation. This person's playing games. They are playing freaking games with you all over the freaking place. Um, just saying, just saying. Now, like I said, you could be dating this person. You could be um, actually married to them. God, I hope you're not. Um, or... Um, you know, living together or um, dating or, um, but however that resonates, they're playing games with you. It's clear as day in here. And um, they're, they're apparently very false. So they're probably highly manipulative. Just saying. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Some are about to learn very, very shocking news about this partner soon. It's going to cause you to seriously separate yourself from this person. Okay. Heard some of you guys are going to learn very seriously shocking news about this person soon. And it's going to cause you to um, seriously separate yourself from this person. So, energetically separate yourself. Like... I'm assuming cut off all contact with them and um, completely remove yourself from the situation is exactly what I'm thinking. So you take it how it resonates. I heard seriously shocking news. So you take it how it resonates. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and sure of the future. For some, you will really hate doing this, but you know it will be the best thing for yourself and others greatly connected to you. Because it's about to not go well for your partner, and you know this. Ah, yikes. Oh, okay. I heard for some of you guys, you're really going to hate separating yourself. Um, it, well, I don't think you're separating. I think you're completely separating. Like, you're severing ties is what it sounds like. Because it's some kind of crazy, shocking news. Um, and you're about to completely, it sounds like, completely sever, sever yourself. For some, you could just separate. But I heard you're really going to miss this person. But I heard um, you know inside yourself that it's the best thing for you and the ones um, closely connected to you. So you might have children or just um, people very, very closely connected to you that you don't, that you would refuse to, um, you know, that those people will always be with you in your life is what I'm assuming. Um, and um, you know it would be best for you and those people. Oh, Lord. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done, 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 done. Personal readings currently closed. However, donations super duper greatly appreciated. It's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, all donations are super duper greatly appreciated. However, um... If you like to donate, you have to do it the right way. I'm an RN. I've been an RN since 2013. So, um, I do donations only. But I say that because I'm a single mom too. And I file head of household with dependents on my taxes. So, my taxes have to be correct. And this is part of my taxes. So, if you decide to donate, you have to put donation in that drop down. It's very important because I save all my documentation. And every single donation I get off of here, I file in the IRS as donations. So, just saying, just saying. All right, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Please share the videos and word of mouth. 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to do deck giveaway number two. Boom, boom, boom. Two separate winners at 2,000 subscribers. That's the second giveaway I'm going to do. Um, but once we hit 2,000, which we're almost there, just saying. Energy Oracle deck, Animal Spirit deck. Just saying, just saying. I love you guys so freaking much. Everybody make good choices and namaste.